It's true that it's strange for me to have like a cappella related to a museum and that it's become a, a, a space of exhibition. We always have like two choices, like you can like use the space as it is or abstract it in a way. So that um, on me I wanted really to use it like completely. Use the, the, the whole space to, to work with the verticality on the, on the horizontality of the space. So the, the idea is really to put the light very strongly in the beginning and like that people can be able to see from outside what's happened inside. Maybe they will think that it's only a, a church <laughs> and they can enter like every church in the world you can visit uh, the church or they can have a look or experiment the space in a different way. So the thing I chose in the beginning was um, to take off the black vinyl in the window uh, and to let it like uh, with the daylight. Uh, the other thing was to take off the carpet and to leave the floor, the original floor. And the second change was to, to, to open directly the door to the outside. Maybe the first work I decided to, to show here is uh, Fantasia that, uh, with the flagpoles and because the high of the capella was um, make it possible like to, to install it. Then I, 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 I thought about what, what can I show <laughs> or, uh, or from which material I can start to work with. And uh, I just took like in my memory when, when I was um, when I was young, I used to play cards in Morocco, and it was a, a card game called La Ronda. And uh, Ronda, I thought that it was a Moroccan game. <laughs> and then I understand, like very late in my life, that it was a Spanish game and not a Moroccan game. And I thought that I wanted to do something about that. In fact, the first thing was to put the card on the stones, and then to let it um, on the floor, like I, I did for some, some works I, I do. And, uh, but I decided to reverse the installation process. So it will be the card first, then the stone above it, and, and that's all. For the, for the vitrol, it's, uh, the, the color has come from a powder. It's a artificial saffron. So it's such, it just gives the color of orange, but it's not a, a real saffron. There is no test at all. It's just like a pigment like, that we can use in painting. So for me, it's kind of very simple pigment to use to do, a, to do an artwork. So I did several pieces with this powder, so every time I can replay it in one space, and I choose like that time to replay it in the vitrol. Like that, the vitrol become like less sacred for me. <laughs> and the pigment have like a big uh, 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 charismatic um, uh, uh, ending. I always try to, to give to the viewer the same first feeling that I have when I see an object for the, for the first time. When I see, when I saw like a flag poles and I start to look to every flag poles around, I, I, when I didn't know what, uh, how I will work with it, I, I had this feeling that, oh, the, the flagpoles you see around, most of them are without flags, sometimes with flags, sometimes with no flags, sometimes there is not the poles but only the bracket. And uh, so I was quite wondering how, how it's mean and how, it's, um, how it will work if something uh, plan for outside have to be inside or if something is um, planned to represent um, the idea of uh, an international coalition uh, will work if, if it's not going in the same direction. And it's the same with the stones. You have, uh, uh, you have stone with card game and there is like nothing more. Uh, you can recognize it like very fastly. Like, a card game is a card game, and here in Spain, Ronda is like well known, like the card. 
and the stone is just stone. So you are in front of objects that you can recognize, but it's installed in a way that you have to, to understand why it's a, an artwork. And it's the same thing with the vitral. If you see it, it's just like a color window, it's normal. But if you see the caption, you read that it's a, a alimentar uh, powder, a pigment. I really start from the object and then I, I develop a work. And I have myself to understand why I can be obsessed by an object. I cannot avoid the fact that it's starting, starting from myself. This is, I cannot play like the universal artist or something. So it always starts from myself. So I, I've got to deal with, with what kind of material I can use and what kind of gesture I can do uh, with it. It means from where I am speaking and for who I am speaking and about, wh about what. There is, there is really a lot of artists like, that interest me a lot. And, uh, yeah, for example, like the early work of, um, of Richard Serra. He deals with simple, like minimal materials to do minimal gesture. And this is something that interests me um, a lot. On, for example, how I can like um, um, place myself, like my work in regarding his work. It's maybe more about an idea of um, minimal culture. <laughs> so it's not about minimal forms or minimal material, but it, it's about a minimal culture or a minimal object from a culture. I cannot replace the minimalism, but I can work in a different way with, um, with uh, simple objects. And Félix González Torres was as a... Yeah, he had in his work the idea of minimalism and also politics and self-history. And this is something that really was really, really important. I, I discovered his work like very lately when I was 23. And, and uh, it was for me a big shock that uh, that wa work really represents uh, like something about uh, beauty and in the same way something about a very uh, strong politic political involvement. I went to a class uh, with small kids and I wanted to show them that it's very easy to do art. So one of the work I, I, I present, like I, I choose to do it in front of them and to, to be helped by them. It's a one kilo sugar cube. And so I took it from the shop. So I, I show them to the, to the kids and I say, okay, you know that? You know that, what it is. And they say, yes, we, we know it's like a sugar cube. A kid took the packet, opened it and just turn it and it's fall down in the floor. And I say, this is, an installation. This is a sculpture and this is called principle of economy. <laughs> and, and then we start to talk about that. And when I came back one month after, the kids came to see my, the exhibition that I did and the kids said, you know that I, I, I never saw again uh, a sugar cube with, without thinking of your work, like without thinking about that it can be an artwork. And it was like the most uh, important compliment that I had in my life. It's like how it can like change like the, not the vision, but the, the regard that we can have on objects.